Good evening. How are you guys doing tonight? Good. Hey, I'm so excited. Me, my family, I say I, we are so excited to finally be here in Wisconsin. Um, it's not as cold as I thought it was going to be, but I know it'll get there. Yeah, there you go. So, hey, we're so excited that you're here. Guys, we're here tonight, and this will be brief, but we are going to talk about the Christmas story because here's the reality. With no Christmas story, guys, there's no... There's no salvation. There's no, no regeneration. There's, there's, we have nothing without the birth of Jesus coming into this world. So it is so exciting. We're going to read scripture through that. We're going to worship him. And then, guys, we will go home to our houses uh, and then celebrate Christmas tomorrow. So I'm going to go ahead and open us up in prayer, and then we're going to worship. God, we just thank you so much for who you are. We thank you for your love for us. God, we thank you that you left your throne to be born a baby on this earth, God, for our salvation. Father, we worship you and we praise you and we glorify you because of what you done for us. Father, we pray tonight that we would glorify you with these songs. God, that we'd glorify you with, with looking at scripture. God, we would glorify you with our hearts and our minds and our prayers. And Father, we just commit this evening to you. It's in your Son's name we pray. Amen. We're going to be reading out of Luke's account of the birth of Jesus in chapter 2. If you have your Bible, go ahead and turn there. Uh, if not, it will be on the screen. Verse 1 says, In those days a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that the whole empire should be registered. This first registration took place while Quirinius was governor of Syria. So everyone went to be registered, each to his own town. Joseph also went up to the town, from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and the family line of David, to be registered along with Mary, who was engaged to him and who was pregnant. While they were there, the time came for her to give birth. She then gave birth to her firstborn son, and she wrapped him tightly in cloth and laid him in a manger, because there was no guest room available for them. In the same region, shepherds were staying out in the fields and keeping watch at night over their flock. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, do not be afraid, for look, I proclaim to you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. Today in the city of David, a Savior was born for you, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be the sign for you. You will find a baby wrapped tightly in cloth and lying in a manger. Suddenly, there was a multitude of of the heavenly host with the angel praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and peace on earth to the people he favors. When the angels had left them and returned to heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go straight to Bethlehem and see what has happened, which the Lord has made known to us. They hurried off and found both Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger. After seeing them, they reported the message they were told about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. But Mary was treasuring up all these things in her heart and meditating on them. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things they had seen and heard, which were just as they had been told. Folks, this is incredible for the folks. Sometimes it's so easy, I think, to lose um, this idea of the miracle of the birth of Jesus. All the prophecies fulfilled just with that birth. These guys were probably thinking back to uh, the prophet Isaiah and, and thinking back to these other prophets who had proclaimed this. And they're saying it's really happening. And if that's not enough, the angels of the Lord said, hey, this is where you'll find him. And this is how you'll find him. And guess what? They found him. Wow. Wow. It says they, 
for all the things they had seen and heard, which they had just been told, they returned glorifying and praising God. Glorifying and praising. Those are verbs, folks. Those are verbs. Those are action words. They left praising God because what had happened that morning. It's so exciting and it's so easy to look over the fact that Jesus himself said it was time to leave the heavenly throne and come down to be 100% man while being 100% God. It is so humbling and it's so easy for us to look past the fact that Jesus loved us enough to come down and say it's time. It's time. That 400 years of waiting is over. It's time. That silence is over. It's time to come proclaim to them who is the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Folks, I pray that this Christmas season, we walk away from this. We go into it, but then walk away from it, glorifying and praising our Savior. Those are action words. We should show action when we glorify, when we praise Jesus For he is the King of kings and the Lord of lords, and we know that. One of the great things that I love that that Jesus says in um, John chapter 9 is, he says, I'm the light of the world. I'm the light of the world. And in fact, he calls us to be salty and lit, right? The salt of the earth and the light of the world. He calls us to be that light of the world. John the Baptist says, I'm a lamp. what, what, What good are lamps without a light source? Nothing. But when they have the light source, guess what? They reflect that light source. That's what we should do. That's what we should do. We're going to symbolize that here this evening real quick while we close with our final song. Um, we, does, it, does everybody have candles? Did everybody pick a candle up coming through the door? If, if you need one, we've got some right up here. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and light these candles. Um, Miss Therese will go that way and help you guys light them. We'll light them this way. And I want you guys to think of this because here's what's interesting. When we light one candle, it produces just a little bit of light. But when we light another candle, guess what? It produces a little bit more light. Guys, I hope you guys, as we look at these candles and these lights... I hope we know that we all have that light inside of us if we've trusted Jesus to be our Lord and Savior. If we've surrendered our life to Jesus, that light is inside of us. But I can tell you, we have a responsibility to let that light shine to the outside world. We have that responsibility to let others see that light. I pray that this light, just simply looking at it, symbolizes what we have inside of our hearts only because Jesus chose to be born and then die in our place. Folks, I'm so excited for Sunday morning. We're going to talk a little bit about one of the verses um, in Luke chapter 2. We're going to talk about um, those angels when when they said... uh, When they said, glory to God in the highest heaven and peace on earth to the people he favors... We're going to break that verse down because there is so much to unpack right there in those few words. So as you guys go tonight and as you guys celebrate Christmas tomorrow, I pray that that peace is with you. I pray that you glorify Jesus. I pray that we're celebrating Christmas for what is meant, what it is meant to be. I'm going to close in prayer. We do have cookies. We've got coffee. We've got all that stuff in the lobby there. If you guys want some, you guys are welcome to it. Um, If not, we will see you back here Sunday morning. Let's pray. God, we thank you so much for that silent night. We thank you so much, God, for, for sending your son to this earth. It's so humbling to know that you did that for us. To know that you did that for the the brokenness that consumes us. You did that to save us. And Jesus, we're so thankful for that. God, as we celebrate you tomorrow, Father, I pray that our light shines just a little bit brighter. 
God, and as we come back in here on Sunday, God, I pray that we are on fire. I pray we are ready to praise and to glorify you in our worship service. Father, we thank you, we love you, we praise you. It's in Jesus' name and all God's people said, amen.